evening everyone. I'm not sure we've got anyone on yet, but yeah, two people, yeah. Good That's evening, awesome. those two people. Who we don't know who they are yet. Five people, yes. We won't know who you are until you comment and say hello. Hi Jenny. Eleven people. Brilliant. Excellent. Hey Matt. Signing on for, for the Saturday night. I love it. The most anointed time to pray, I've heard. Saturday night. Saturday night, Saturday night. Lovely. We'll get started. Let's just get this angle right. Okay, wonderful. It's half past, so we'll get started. And if it's just us 12, amazing. We'll have a great time together. So we're going to, um, this evening we're just going to spend 10 minutes just praying into um, our health, so our mental health and our physical health. Uh, we just felt it was something really appropriate. We know that we've prayed for lots and lots of different things. Um, last time I heard it was 14 hours of prayer that Frontline's invested. It's going to be more than that because that was a few weeks ago now. And we've covered pretty much everything, but we just think it's a, it's a super important topic to be praying into. So um, we're just going to pray um, things that are on our hearts. And we just love for you um, to just agree and pray yourself if there's something that god's um you know placing on your heart then just write it in the in the comments um, we'll try and keep a bit of a closer eye, eye on the comments um to communion just because it's a it's a lot easier so right let's pray uh, father we just invite you in this evening and we just say you're welcome here and would you just come and just touch our hearts this evening um lord jesus would we just know your presence would we know that you're with us or what whatever wherever we're coming from this evening whatever place we're in mentally physically in terms of our health we come to you this evening and we just say you're worthy of our praise and you're worthy of our prayers mm -hmm. father and um we just want to lift up i want to lift up specifically now all those um people who who have um suffered with loneliness in this time mm -hmm. And, and Lord, loneliness is is going to be rife, and and especially with the um, with the the situation with with lockdown. And as things are easing, Lord, it doesn't necessarily mean that people are coming out of a place of loneliness. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we just lift them up to you now, Lord, and we just pray for linking lives and the work that they do with Imagine If. Lord Jesus, we just lift up that ministry to you. We pray for volunteers. We pray, pray for connections and friendships mm -hmm. to be made um, through linking lives, Lord Jesus. So we just yeah. lift up all of those people um, who, who are lonely in this time, who are, who are feeling lonely. And so we just give that to you, Lord Jesus. Yeah, Lord. And mm -hmm. we just know what an impact yeah, the last couple you, of months Lord. has had on all of us and how thank hard you, it's Jesus. been. and how difficult you, and how much of a toll there's been on our mental health but mm. we just lift up all the different age groups that have been affected so differently lord we lift up our children who mm. have had mm. no one to play with in some situations and had minimal mm. social contact mm. and we just lift them yeah. up just with their yeah. development socially yeah. um and their lack of understanding in some situations if they can't communicate in the same way that we can mm, as adults, mm. Lord, we just lift them up to you. Yeah, um, yeah. That you would give them your peace supernaturally. Yeah. That they would just, as things change once again, Lord, that you would just give them mm. rest. That they would just be able Thank to trust Jesus. in the people that care for them. Trust yeah. in those that love them. Yeah. Um, that they wouldn't yeah. question um, negatively. That they wouldn't fear, Lord. That mm. as they mm. do things like go back into school and go back into nursery and mm. um, go mm. back into other situations situations where they've mm. been learning that they have to keep away from people and that might have given them anxiety lord that actually yeah, yeah. if they're allowed to start having contact again father we just pray um yeah. that they would just have new understanding father and that, that would just yeah. be something that it's like a duck to water that they really wouldn't struggle just going back to the new normal father yeah. and we yeah. do also just lift up um our young adults and our youth lord um it must mm, have been so mm. tough for so many of them just to be separated from their peers and their friends mm, and their mm. loved ones, Lord. And they have so much understanding and they see so much in the media and on social media, Lord. And actually a lot mm, of that can bring anxiety. Mm. And we left them up to you again this evening, yeah, Father. Would yeah, you just yeah. give them your peace? Um, yeah. Would you 
just help them sometimes to come out of a, a rut if they are stuck in, in sort of cycles of social media, cycles of just being on um, devices and online, mm-hmm. Lord, would you mm-hmm. just find ways mm-hmm. of helping them to connect with their friends yeah. and connect yeah. with others, Lord, that actually yeah. you would just help them to have positive um, impact on their mental health. I've just seen Shannon's yeah. comments about filling our kids with fun and laughter, and Lord, that is so true. We just want to fill our kids with joy, and we just pray yeah. you would fill our, yeah. our children with joy, yeah. our young people with joy our yeah. youth with joy this evening lord yeah um amen amen yeah sherlon just mentioned as well helping the people that are shielding and we just had that on our hearts as well to just pray for all mm. those people who are shielding lord and uh, and also to just pray for those in our congregation in our church family as well mm. that are shielding lord jesus and we just we just pray mm. for them now and we pray that as august the 12th approaches when they don't have to shield mm. anymore lord jesus we, we just pray and you would break any anxiety which they may have mm. about leaving the house or about um exposing themselves to to the to the big wide world again lord jesus mm. and we we just pray um, for those that are shielded, and we just pray and protection over their mental health as well as their physical health, Lord Jesus. Mm-hmm. Um, and we, we we just lift up all of those now, those mm-hmm. families that that come to our mind and that are coming to the forefront of our mind. And and why don't we just wherever we are, why don't we just. Um, Pray out for those that are shielding that we may know, um, Lord Jesus, yeah. and and I just pray for Jim and Barb on on our street um, who are shielding in their Christians, Lord. We just lift them up to yeah. you, and we just pray your blessing and protection over them. And as mm-hmm. we as we raise our voices, just blessing and praying for those who who are shielding, um, Lord, would you just touch them right now, whether they know you or not? Mm-hmm. Um, so we just we just lift them up to you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. And Father, we know that for a lot of people, things might be changing. They might be um, coming out of shielding. They might be coming out of furlough and going back to work. They might be their situation might be changing again. And we know mm, how much fear mm, there was mm. um, when we first locked down and things changed in a major way. And, mm. and we almost got used to that. And we know that we've changed. There, there can come fear and uncertainty again. And we just come against that this evening. Um, we yeah. also just yeah. want to pray for our health workers for our nhs workers lord they've just been through so much the last couple of months and yeah, i know we've yeah, prayed for amen, them amen. many times but actually as things go back to normal i was just reading today about the, the huge backlog something like eight million operations that have been put on hold due to mm. coronavirus and actually mm. that's a huge list to work through um, and yeah, can yeah. bring a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress and a lot of busyness and we just come against those in the name of jesus lord we just pray supernatural healing over those that need it that wait lists would be shortened that actually those who need um, help can can access it father and um, we know that there's been a lot of things put on hold that we're reading about people who have cancer who have had slow diagnoses that we've had people in chronic pain who haven't been able to get the help they need and father you're the god of miracles would you yeah. just bring hope and healing to yeah. those people yeah. in the name of jesus yes lord and um just a scripture which which i absolutely love and that it can apply to all of us really come to me this is matthew 28 um, verses um, sorry Matthew eleven twenty eight and 29 um, come to me all you who are weary and burdened and that's probably most of us at the moment in some way shape or form and I will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light Lord, and we just pray that the church would rise up in this time or continue to rise up because yeah. it's been amazing. Like we prayed um, a few few nights ago, Lord, it's been amazing to see the church rising mm-hmm. up in this time and, and taking ground for, for, for the kingdom. And, and we just pray that the church would rise up in this time mm-hmm. and continue to rise up to support those who need um, love and affirmation, mm-hmm. Lord, that may need help financially, that may need help physically mm. and whatever that whatever that may be we we just pray that the church would be mm. a tonic to weary and burdened hearts lord because um mm. and we also just pray um we we just pray for um breakthrough lord mm. jesus in 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 the hearts of those um that have been struggling in this time and we just pray that the church would come alongside those people um and and that gets me really excited about that prospect so yeah we just we just lift that up to you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Mm. Thank you, Father. 
Yeah, and again, just something else from the comments, Lord, just funding for our health services, Lord. We know that um, actually they've gonna, they will have been stretched over the last few months, and we just pray for supernatural provision. And we know that we partner as a frontline, and imagine if there's so many... Um, amazing amazing causes that that actually bring yeah. funding yeah. and hope um and provision in our area and we pray for each one of those this evening lord that actually where there is need would it be filled lord and actually yeah. as the church Amen. would we be able to Amen. fill that gap and rise up to that need because yeah. of your provision yeah amen. amen so we just lift all these things to you father we thank you for everyone this evening um, who's joined us and, and who is listening after, and we just pray a blessing on yeah. them. We pray for a, um, a, a great rest of our weekend, and we're looking forward to gathering um, tomorrow, Sunday, um, together at 10.30. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Have a great evening, and can I just quickly be cheeky and say please sign up to the book club that's going on for the next few weeks. We're talking about Let's Talk About Race, the book by Ben Lindsay. It's absolutely amazing. And it was great to see loads of people there on Thursday. Please sign up. Um, this is the church's time to rise up and talk about these difficult issues. That's a bit of a challenge. Love you lots. Bye. Bye.